Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. In the last session, we have seen the roadmap to become an ETL tester, right? And we also we have discussed there are four pillars which uh, can help us to become an ETL tester. The first one is software testing fundamentals, and second one SQL, that is SQL. Third one is ETL and data warehousing concepts. And third one is Unix, right? So in today's video, we will discuss, we'll take those four pillars and we'll discuss one by one. So in the first one is software testing fundamentals. In this video, we'll see how to start for understanding the software testing fundamentals, right? So which uh, book to read and how to start building the knowledge on software testing fundamentals. So if you're new to this channel, uh, if you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel and um, hit like button. And we have the, this is the first video which I have made on uh, the roadmap to ETL tester to become an ETL tester. So if you haven't that watched this video, please do watch it, right? And also have uh, other SQL related videos in my channel. You can search using SQL with Ravi Martha and you can find it and we have a lot of SQL videos here. Do watch them and if you like it, uh, do subscribe to my channel and like it. Right, let's get started. First thing, let's understand what is testing and why do we need testing? So if the testing is not done, what are the losses, right? For example, if the testing is not done, it may have financial impact or it may impact on hum human life and any other losses, right? So that's why the testing is came into existence and the testing will give the confidence that, you know, we can use this particular software, right? But just because it has gained the confidence, it doesn't mean that there are no absence of defects after testing. Still, there may be defects in our software right so these defects will come up uh, down the line when the production the application goes live and the support team will keep on catching those bugs and you know it will be fixed later on so please understand that you know testing would give the confidence that we can use this software but it, it doesn't mean that there is absence of defects in the software Right. So sometimes we may find defects in already tested code. Right. So that's why. So this is the first topic. You can start searching in Google or you can start with this particular topics. Then we need to understand what are the different testing principles and understand what are different test levels and different types of test types. Also, we should have good knowledge about what is the development life cycle and then the testing life cycle and bug life cycle and whenever a requirement is given to us to test right we should understand analyze them properly and we should try to understand the actual business flow once you understand this once you digest the requirements then you can write down all your questions, queries and any requirement gaps you have observed. So this is one of the key thing, right? If you if you find the requirement gaps or any ambiguous requirements, right? That will save a lot of time and rework, right? You know, so that it will save a good amount of money to the project. By the, with this, we are trying to shift the quality. We are trying to shift left the quality, right? find the defects early in the life cycle. Analyzing the ga requirement gaps is also part of the testing. People think that, you know, just execution of the, you know, test execution would do the testing. But this is the first and foremost thing that, you know, you should try to digest requirements and understand, find the gaps in the requirement. So most of the time, the business may miss one of one or two scenarios. We should be able to ask, so what happens if this is the scenario? What happens if there are duplicates? 
if there are two records which are with the same ranking which one to pick you know these kind of questions we can uh, document and ask and get the clarification from the business or the business analyst right and then we should understand something called uh, entry criteria and exit criteria right these are the certain conditions which should be achieved before we start the testing for example the requirement should be freezed before we start the testing or uh, testing starting the testing means not the execution start analyzing the requirements understanding the requirements right then all the questions to be uh, you know answered by the business which we raised then we should understand the testing techniques so that we can ensure that we write 100% coverage test case so we don't miss out any scenarios so we should use testing techniques to ensure that we give 100% test coverage right then what happens we will we should have the test environment ready and the test bed that is the test data test data should be ready to start the testing once you start the execution and if any test case fails you can raise a defect and assign it to the developer and follow up and you have to retest and close it after that and then you have certain exit criteria mentioned in your test plan so ensure that all those egg exit criteria is met before you stop the testing for example you have p1 and p2 defects that should be fixed and you know there should not be any p1 and p2 defects so that's one of the exit criteria right so make sure that you achieve all that uh, you satisfy that exit criteria before you stop the testing and people use test management uh, tools like you know to upload the test cases and uh, track the execution and to come up with some reports so people use jira alm and other tools right so we have discussed what are the key topics and uh, the common jargons in software testing fundamentals and there are some some types of uh, some other words like test plan uh, regression testing retesting stuff like that so i'll keep uh, i'll try preparing some other uh, videos as well uh, if time permits okay let's see from where we can get this um, the content right so if you go to the istqb sorry so if you go to the istqb site istqb.org slash downloads you'll see the download section and where you can find all the documentation for different kinds of uh, testing materials so first one which i'm which i we have discussed right so that is foundation level so this is the first one once you click on that it will route to this particular page right so here we have you can also get certified you know the certified tester foundation level certification so and we have other sample papers here and if you download the first one right click on click here so this will download the software testing fundamentals and all the topics which we have discussed mostly covered in this and uh, once you once you're confident on this you can go ahead and appear for the exam and you'll be ISTQB certified foundation foundational tester right and if you want to try other things you can try it so we have different types of uh, things foundation level automation usability testing performance testing etc agile so many things are there and there are advanced level also if you are uh, if you want to become a test manager there are advanced levels for test manager managers as well go through this okay uh, without wasting this much of time so let's get back to today's topic uh, once you click on this uh, pdf it will open the pdf let me open that pdf i have already opened it i have downloaded it and this is how it looks like certified tester foundation level syllabus you can also give the exam after the after going through this this is pretty um, comprehensive and you know to the point so the first thing uh, let me put it to 100% or 125% that would be good okay i am able to see now fine so first thing we should understand fundamentals of testing 
so if you are new to the testing you can it's the better to start from here so we should understand what is testing what is the object of testing why testing is necessary what does the test what testing gives us you know it gives us confidence that you know we can use the software and there are some testing principles fundamental testing principles right and the second chapter is testing throughout the software development life cycle right in that there are sub topics like test levels component integration system testing and acceptance testing then testing types functional non functional etc then we have third chapter that is static testing for example if you have written a test case test cases for the particular requirement then your test lead or your test manager sometimes business may also review your test cases and give you comments so there are different types of testing static testing methods like review walk through etc different other types so where this would help to uh, rem remove the defects you know before even uh, actual execution so that that's why the static testing is also important the important topic is the testing techniques so this is the main uh, crux of the software testing fundamentals so there are uh, different categories of testing techniques we have white box testing and black box testing and in black box testing also we have different types of testing for example equivalence partition boundary value decision tables state transition testing use case testing in white box also we have statement decision right and then we have the test management where we uh, which tool we will use what is the entry criteria and exit criteria which we have discussed so in this one in the test management we have entry criteria and exit criteria which we have just discussed in the in the slide right and we have also test estimation techniques right and then we have the testing tools for um, the you know for testing that is kind of all if you can automate uh, any testing that would save the money for the project so we should um, they have discussed that topic in this particular chapter if the time permits i'll try to do uh, smaller videos on this so to cover most of the software testing fundamentals and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and sorry for not uploading the videos uh, as i'm a little bit busy and thank you for your support take care of yourself and have a great day thank you very much